Good morning, Senator Foby, and uh, good morning, Ms. Long. Good morning, Mr. Chairperson and members, and thank you this morning for hearing this bill, Senate File 1433, um, most um, fondly known as the Irene Long Act. It's a simple bill, um, comes to you requesting that we provide free um, licenses for residents 90 years of age or older. And I even, <coughs> even younger if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Irene would like us to consider younger, Mr. Chair, but we'll go with the 90 and older for this bill today. And she drove here all the way down from, um, she's in my district, lived all her life on the southern end of Lake Mille Lacs, and is probably one of the most avid anglers I've ever met. <laughs> we have pictures to show. And she enjoys um, nothing more than a, just a few hours on the lake, um, living on a very fixed income, as many of our senior seniors are, and I believe um, we could just offer them a simple fishing license as a way to enjoy those 90-year-old years. So I'm going to just turn it over to Miss Irene Long here, and she can share a little bit about her fishing <laughs> stories. Miss Long, welcome to the committee. Jeez. I'm Irene Long. I'm from Mille Lacs Lake, and I live in the Isle View Apartments, and I'm not, it will be 92 years of age on May 11th, the opening of fishing season this year. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I've been catching fish for nine years. I've been going out with Gene Miller, that's our postmaster, and I I guess I was the one that got that started because I went to Miller one day and I said to him, I says, oh, can't you take a bunch of grandmas out fishing? And he says, well, I don't know about that. I'll have to check into it. Well, it was just a couple of days later, and he called, and he says, Well, Irene, I guess we're going fishing. <laughs> so then we, he said a day, and, and we went. There were six of us that went that, that, day, uh, that year. And he usually takes you out one day a year that he provides the bait, the, uh, the fishing <laughs> gear, and the good time on the lake in his pontoon. So we have a good time. And I, the first year I caught a 28-and-a-half-inch walleye, and that I caught right after we had gone out on the lake. And the 28 and a half inch, it was just a half an inch shorter than what I'd had to throw him back. But I, it was so I could keep him. So that was my first year's fishing. And then uh, I went, then I went the next year and I caught um, three fish in two hours, a 42-inch walleye and a 38-inch muskie and a 43-inch muskie, all in two hours. I kept Gene busy and his partner <laughs> baiting the hook to keep me going. <laughs> And then, then I, there was a couple of years that I went fishing. Just to be out on the lake was a great day, but I didn't catch anything. And then two years ago, then I caught this, this great big one, 54-inch muskie. And that was, that was really a, a joy to catch, but it was... Somebody said, why don't you um, uh, mount him and hang him up in your apartment? I says, no, he's too big. 
<laughs> so the Gene's helper kept him alive, and after he was through with the, uh, with the, he put him down in the water, and he brought him back to life, and he let him go, and I saw him float away, and uh, Gene said, well, we'll let him grow two inches longer so you can catch him next year. So I'm hoping to catch this him this year. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, and I'd like to wish that a lot of grandmas could go because it's, and when you got fixed incomes like most of us that's been going, we just would like to have the license even lower or otherwise nothing at all so we could all go fishing because we all have such a wonderful time out there on the lake. We laugh and joke and have a good time. Okay, Mr. Chair and sure. members, we'll stand for questions. And I think um, Miss Irene Long could like open a fishing school. <laughs> I think we, we have to learn this technique. <laughs> to how you catch these big fish. So thanks for sharing your story. Oh, thank you. Mr. Boggess, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. Ed Boggess, Deputy Director of Fish and Wildlife for the, for the DNR. And even though we've had a long policy of opposing free licenses for individuals, Ms. Long is a tough act to follow. So I'll just <laughs> stick to the facts here. Um, in 2008, we issued 937 licenses to uh, anglers over the age of 90, which was actually a um, surprisingly high number for us. It was good to see that we've got that many uh, uh, anglers that are still out there enjoying angling at that age. Um, Could you repeat, of the, those 19 Could you repeat were the number, please? Hours, 937. Okay. Um, and most of those were seasoned licenses. Uh, 19 of them were just the 24 hour type. Okay. Dill? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Boggess, what so how much how much revenue is lost if this license goes free? Um, Mr. Chair and Senator Dill, um, those numbers I just gave you uh, approximate sixteen thousand dollars a year. We'll get going on that, Mr. Right. Chair. I, um, if there aren't further questions, I'd like to move the bill. What we'll do uh, with the, the all the game and fish. Uh, bills we're rolling over, laying over for the omnibus game and fish bill. So Senate file 1433 will be laid over for further consideration. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.